Whose whose phones are <laughs> there's just a lot of we, phones. <laughs> Welcome to the first installment of Dan O'Brien's awesome drive to the match for the 2023 season. I'm Jeff Lemieux, joined today by the Revolution's leading goal scorer, Henry Kessler. Henry, it's got to be nice to hear, right? Revolution leading goal scorer? It is. It is nice. You know, I've had some people say Henry Kessler for a golden boot. So I don't know about that, but it's no, it's it's always good to score week one. Have you been holding that over the strikers' heads this week that you're the leading goal scorer? Oh, very much so. Very much so. And then I bagged one in practice, too. So then it just kind of added to it, and uh, yeah, I'm giving them a hard time for now. You're on pace for 34 goals this season, which would be a Revs single season record. What What is the, the final tally for this year, you think? For me? Yeah. So it's funny, Bruce always says three goals for a center back would be great. Um, but I, before the game, I was like, no, nah, I want five. I want five this year. And then after the Charlotte game, I was like, you know what? I got one week one, I think seven. So I'm gonna say seven is the final tally for this year. It's ambitious, but I think I can do it. Seven would be fantastic. If you got four career goals right now, Yeah. three of them were on the road. One of them was at Gillette Stadium, but it was in the 2020 COVID season, so you no didn't fans. even have fans there. Yeah. So you got an opportunity Saturday night, home opener against the Houston Dynamo. Maybe you get a goal in front of the home fans. But regardless of that, how much are you looking forward just to getting back out in front of the home fans after what, four or five months without playing in front of them, especially for the ones who are going to be hardy on Saturday night coming out in some March New England weather? Yeah, no, really looking forward to it. I feel like last year, um, you know, we had obviously a difficult season, so it's going to be great to get back in front of them and, you know, show what we're capable of and uh, hopefully have a much better year than last year. So I'm very much looking forward to being back in front of our fans. Now, you know we're finishing with something that's not soccer related. Of course. You tweeted recently that you have some laundry related issues. So I just need uh, to follow up on this. You know, what's What's the biggest laundry debacle you've ever had? Like, what's the biggest mistake you've made with a load of laundry? Yeah, so I think it's a combination. Like, I've had these mistakes individually, but when you combine them, it's made it my greatest debacle so far. So I had clothing shrink, wrinkle, and then I didn't fold it afterwards. So that was my greatest debacle. Now I've, I've somewhat learned from my mistakes in that you can't put it on high heat, that shrinks but you can't put it on low heat, then it doesn't dry. And if you put it on mid heat, then it, it's kind of wrinkled. So I've asked our pro, if you will, Scott Edmonds, and he said, uh, you know, you need to add dryer sheets, maybe a fabric softener in there. I've added the dryer sheets. Unfortunately, it made zero difference. <laughs> so I'm still struggling, but um, we're better than what I was. So that's progress. Well, you went straight to the source. You went to the Revs equipment manager, yeah. Scott Edmonds, and said, I need some help here. I mean, that's being able to admit that you need help. 100%. That's the, that's the first step. That's the first step. And I have a long way to go, but um, hopefully I'll improve from here. All right. Well, Henry, to steal a line that I've seen several times since last week, you might not know laundry, but you seem to know clean sheets. So hopefully another one on Saturday. Night I like the that. Dynamo. That's good. Wow. Okay. This has been Dan O'Brien's awesome drive to the match. Keeping it awesome.